भगवान अपनी में So I got my big boy Ark here today. I got my other buddy Mon, my big fella Ime, and I got Iber. And uh, I put the lead on Ark today because we climbed up quite a ways today, about 4,200 feet, and I needed some pull. And so I tied him on, and uh, he's been helping me the whole way. It's been fantastic. He's a powerhouse dog, this Ark. So it's really fantastic. This is a Swedish outcome, Norwegian outcome. That's Ark's brother right there, Ivor. That's his Swedish outcome. And Ime is Mon's son, Norwegian. Now, you won't see this ever again in your life. This is one of the few times in the world, uh, this is the only time in the world that this could happen, that you have a bobtail Swedish elk hound and a bobtail Norwegian elk hound on the same hike in the same kennel at the same place. There has never been two of these before. Ark is the first bobtail, so is Ime. And uh, it's quite fascinating to have this combination of dogs out here today to have these boys to hike with. Now Iber, he's heading home right away. Sydney's coming up on the 8th to get him. He's absolutely a phenomenal dog, that Ivor. Now what what the gems and is bred for is not necessarily the exact same work that I do with them, but if you work with them the exact same way as I do with this line, then they'll be almost exactly the same. But coming out, their, their instincts are just not quite the same. But Ime, of course, is, is absolutely phenomenal. So what I did is I put Ivor in Ime's pen and let them hang out. Right now, Ivor's as good as Ime. He just hangs with me all day long, like he hiked all the way up here. Now, these little guys powered all the way up here. Um, I, I needed a pull, but they, they just powered up. And so it's quite phenomenal, uh, the strength and the power of these little guys. Now, a lot of guys ask, how far can you go? Well. It all depends on the snow and it all depends on how high and conditions and uh, there's a wide variety of stuff. If they had played before you took them out, all those factors. But today uh, we came to 4,200 feet here. I measured this area before and uh, they didn't bat an eye. Now we've hung out here for a bit to let them catch the wind and I needed to catch mine of course. And everybody did. So. Uh, they'll be good and then it's easy going downhill, right? But uh, we're probably uh, uh, I think we hiked for an hour and a half and we were doing four and a half miles an hour um, Ark is a fast-moving boy and uh, If I slowed down you see he'd come back and shake my arm tell me to hustle so I couldn't uh, slow down I had to just keep giving her So it's not for the faint of heart the, the people that tie on to this guy you tie on to him and you tell him to pull, he's earned pull. And he pulled the whole way. And he does not stop. He's a machine. So he's a good boy to hook on to. Boy, you had skis behind him, you could be hustling. So uh, good for me to have the help. Now, uh, in the world of elk hounds, these boys are as good as they come. Mon's in his, in his field, Mon is the very best in the world. Uh, Ime will rival Mon or get very, very close. He might not be a, exactly as good, but he's going to be awful good. Ivor and Ark are at the very top of the game in their field and uh, exceptionally good dogs, just world-class dogs. And so this is a, this is a genetic uh, gold mine, these boys, I'll tell you. They're some phenomenal. So Ark, he's going to be... Uh, Sire in a litter was Ella. We brought a female in from Finland for him. Magnificent dog. Just so incredible that Ella is, it's hard to believe. But Ark is such a magnificent male, we had to get a good one. And we did. Uh, the people that stepped up and put that dog in our program are world-class breeders over there. And uh, just, just incredible. Now we had three dogs come from Finland, um, Paso, Ella, and Karu, and the three breeders that 
supplied those dogs, put those dogs in our program, of course, was Kari, uh, Davros, and Marco. And Satu and Mika brought the dogs over. Satu is a master breeder over there and has exceptional skills, exceptional dogs, and just a phenomenal woman to do such a world-class bit of work with her work with her dogs. So um, I wanted to congratulate her because uh, Suma, Sumu had won all of his championships. Now he's an international hunting champion. He's an international uh, or a Finnish moose champion and he's also Finnish bear champion. Now to give you an idea who that is, uh, Ark's dad Rico, his dad's brother is Sumo. So the uh, Sumo's uh, one of the very best dogs there is. Ark's dad's exceptional, or Ark, Ark's grandfather is exceptional as well. Faya is the great grandmother, and I saw her when I was in Finland. Just this, she's a triple champion, and uh, for a for a female to be a bear champion, moose champion, and show champion is very very rare. Now Karu, the stud dog that they brought us. Of course, his mother is a triple champion too. So the, the hunting blood that they shipped over to us was the very best they had. And they wanted to stock our lines with the very best blood they could put in here, which they did. And we're forever grateful for that. And these are the, the offsprings. These two brothers here are from the first trip that we went uh, to get Anya and, and uh, Russ and Beth have Rico. And so this is a Rico Anya son, and so is Ivor. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty profound, really profound. Now doing this off-leash work, off-leash work doesn't always have to be in the bush, you know. You can do off-leash work wherever you are because all you want to be able to do is build the bond with the dog. <clears throat> if the dog doesn't have the bond with you, he's never going to want to come around you. And in order to do off-leash work effectively, the dog has to want to be where you are. And he has to want to be near you more than, uh, more than the uh, wilderness, basically. These pups, they could go anywhere they want. I got no leads up here for them, so they could just cruise. But they, they just want to be by me, so they hang out. And they could run down the trail, they could go anywhere, but they don't. Now, Mon, he'll check a little bit, only because we had a moose walk right through about 15 minutes before we got here. So he is uh, scanning that out. Ark has the lead, so in his mind, he has to stay. If you do your lead work, of course, then you drop your lead. It's, it's a signal to the dog. Now, these boys are not going anywhere anyway. They're, they're going to come and stay by me, so it's uh, it's not a situation where they go anywhere. <laughs> you guys are good boys. You guys are good. You guys are my good boys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You can't see Ark no more. Let me bring him on down. There's my guys. There's my guys. There's my boys. There's my boys. There's my boys. Sure a good set of boys. Sure a good set of boys. When you got dogs that really like you, boy, you can do a lot with them. You can train them anything. You can work with them anywhere. Go anywhere. Do anything you want. It's really quite fun. And uh, the key with, with building the bond, of course, is you have to build the bond with each dog. You got to work with each dog. But each dog has to know that you're working with it. You can work with many dogs at one time, but when you're talking to one dog, make sure that dog knows you're talking to it. And they appreciate it. And so if you go to talk to one of them, you've got to make it sure that that dog knows and they appreciate it. I'll get you up, Burke. There you go, boy. There. There you Come on up now. That's my boy. Good. Good. Now these are, these are exceptional dogs for families, exceptional dogs for men or women. The, 
the Gentans are actually so well suited to women, it's not even funny, because uh, they're so polite, and they have a great deal of respect for the handler, and they have absolutely, I mean, Mun's phenomenal, of course, but a woman could take Ark and walk loose lead right down Vancouver, all through the city, and not bad an eye. Uh, these, these are amazing for, for women. Now, they're, they're hunting dogs, of course, they're working dogs, so they need activity. They've got to be out, they've got to be using their brain. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you, this guy, he's, he has stamina. If you wanted to jog a bit, and you wanted to run a bit, and you wanted a dog to, to accompany you, and you wanted to hike remote regions and, and stuff like that, it's a phenomenal dog for that reason. And uh, women in Finland and Sweden, of course, they, they love them. Uh, they, there's a lot of them. That competition that uh, Satu was in, it was a hunting competition, and it was 55 women entries, and they all had Jamthans, so I mean, pretty phenomenal. All serious, too, boy. Good dogs, best in the world, right? So yeah, it's a big pastime, big sport for them. And the dog of choice, no doubt. So very, very good that way. But you can't beat these two guys. Look at these boys. This is amazing. I mean, this is amazing. So you can see genetic here, like it's like a clone, right? And these two boys are identical. It's just phenomenal. But to see this, I mean, it's just pretty profound. So little Ime, he's, Brendan's getting a good dog there. That's a good boy. That's an amazing dog. Just focused. You could build a campfire here, have your lunch. They'd be just content hanging out. Good, you guys. Good. Good. Yeah. Very good, you guys. Well... I think that's a pretty good video. So we're going to have quite a quite a nice selection of litters this year, and I'm pretty excited about all the litters. And I've got a brand new litter coming from Karoo, our Finnish stud dog, and Kalia. And Kalia can crank out some pups, boy. Cosima and and uh, Baby Ray and. Sula and that whole crew. There was another litter before that. Um, one of the big boys is just down here in the uh, uh, Griffith, uh, Griffin uh, State Park, I believe it's called. Uh, he's doing forestry work down there. And uh, who else was in that litter? There was a lot of dogs in that litter. But uh, I can't remember them all right now, but she'll have some phenomenal pups, let me tell you. So yeah. Well, you guys, you've all, all you guys did good, boy. That was a good, uh, okay, man. Just give me a break now. Let me sit down. Good, good, boys. Good, 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 good. You boys did good. Say hello. Good. I'm, say hello. Say hello. Good. 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 Your boys did good. Good. Your boys did good. Good. All right. Let's pack up. Just hang on. We're going down, man, not up anymore. My knee's sore. Hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. Oh, don't pull on that. That's my uh, camera harness there, buddy. <laughs>